Welcome to the Self-Reliant Living Show, where we talk all about a self-reliant lifestyle to save money, live greener, eat healthier, and be prepared for anything so you can take care of the ones you love in good times and bad. I'm your host, Jennifer Osuch, a homeschooling mom of three boys. I'm the author of the Preparedness Planner series, and my husband and I are the lead teachers of Self-Reliant School, a website dedicated to giving you the skills and confidence to take care of yourself and your community. Be sure to stop by and pick up your free videos from Inside Self-Reliant School that will get you started growing, cooking, and preserving your own food today. You can pick these up at selfrelianceschool.com slash free. Now, on with the show. Welcome to the Self-Reliant Living Show. I am so thrilled that you're here today. If you are watching live or on the replay, I would love it if you would leave me a comment and let me know what you're thinking. Let me know you're there. Let me know um, today. Let me know if you've got your Christmas shopping done or not. I have mine. I'm this close. I'm this close. Okay, so just a couple of housekeeping notes before we start opening the boxes here. Um, we are on Facebook Live most Thursdays, so if you have a little time on Thursday, I would love for you to join us live. You can always watch the replay. You can watch the replay on Facebook. You can watch the replay on YouTube. And if you are watching on those platforms, I would love it if you would share um, this video that just gets us into the feeds of people that are like-minded and think this is valuable content If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe and also give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that um, You can also listen on the go on iTunes. So be sure and download this podcast if you have to run I uh, want to be sure and let you know that this is a live show. So if you have to run, if you can't stay and visit or chat, and you just need the facts, you can go ahead and go to the show notes, and that's for this show, um, selfrelantlife.tv slash 056, 56 already. Okay, um, and those show notes are usually up the same day as the, as the show, sometimes before so you can be sure and just grab the information that you need if you don't have time to sit and visit with me uh, but those of you that do have a little bit of time this is my favorite favorite thing to do is sit and visit and talk with you guys and I just love it so um, like I said you can go to the show notes for this particular show selfrelantlife.tv slash zero five six Okay, if I am just showing up in your feed and you have no idea who I am, my name is Jennifer Osuch and I'm the author of the Preparedness Planner series. My husband and I teach growing, preserving, and cooking skills uh, through our blog and membership at selfrelantschool.com. So welcome to the Self-Reliant Living Show. Okay, so we're just gonna get to it. We are going to unbox a um, mini, a duo mini. There is a, a Lux mini, but we're doing the duo today. And then we're also going to do a smart instant pot. Okay, so let me just say that there are several, several different models of the instant pot. Um, and just right off the bat, that the two main ones, the ones that are the most popular, are the Lux model and then the duo six quart. And those are not the ones that we're going to unbox today. So um, there's also an ultra and there are there's an eight quart and I do have more unboxing videos and I'll share a link with you in a little while where you can see all of the different models and then an unboxing of those so you know what comes in the box. Okay, but right now we are going to do the mini. So let me go ahead and get this down here so I can show it to you. Uh, this is a three quart. Like I said, the standard is a six quart and then they have an eight quart model as well. Um, this one, now if you're just completely new to an Instant Pot, you have no idea what an Instant Pot is. An Instant Pot is um, a seven in one um, cooker. It's a pressure cooker, a slow cooker, a rice cooker, um, a steamer. You can saute, so you can use it like as a hot pot. Um, and it also keeps things warm and you can warm things 
up in it. So if you if you have, um, yeah, it also fills over here going, yogurt, yogurt. Yes, it has a yogurt. Some of them have a yogurt function. The Duo has a yogurt function. The Lux does not. But we are doing the mini Duo today. So this is a three quart. Um, and, okay, so I'm gonna go over some of the features after we get it out of the box. So I'm taking it out of the box. As you can tell, it is in there. I have not done this pre-show or anything like that. So let's just dig in and see what we see here. And you can, you can get these on Amazon. I think Tracy's there putting in the links so that you can go right to Amazon and you can look at it and see if it's something that you would be interested in. Okay, usually there's a box inside of a box. Let's see if they've done that this time. Yes, there is. So let me see, yeah, you guys can see that. So I'm just gonna put this on the floor and grab the handle you can see here. Ooh, okay. Okie dokie, here we go. So this is the box inside of the box. And you can already tell, of course, it's smaller. And then the, the six quart or of course the eight quart. This one, I'm hoping to take on trips when I go uh, places and I need my Instant Pot. Okay, so the first thing, directions and um, charts. So let me take those out so you can see. I don't think we have our little camera today, but that's okay, I'll hold them up. And these are the standard that you get in, in all of the Instant Pot boxes. You get a recipe book and then the instruction manual. Okay, so here's chart, comes in there. And then we have recipes here and instruction manual. And then you can also get a copy of these as a PDF, so you can keep it on your tablet um, or your computer, so you can have it many places. I need it many places, and it's very, very important if you do decide to purchase an Instant Pot to read the manual, because it is a pressure cooker. You want to, you want to be as safe as possible. It does come with 10 safety features, so it's almost impossible to mess it up, but you just want to be extra, extra, extra safe. So um, you will always want to read the instructions with your Instant Pot or any pressure cooker. Okay, so now we're gonna take it out of the box. And we have the cord. And they are all coming now with the detachable cord. Uh, the older ones didn't have that, but the newer ones do. So yay for that, it makes for easy storage. Okay, so then we have just some packaging up oh, and we have our utensils. Okay, so um, all of the duos come with the utensils here you can see this is similar to what you would get if you bought a rice cooker they're plastic utensils then you have a measuring cup and then you have the condensation catcher here i'll show you how that goes on to the pot in just a second okay so then the pot is just wrapped in plastic and i am going to i'm just going to grab it and put it here and put it over here okay okay so here we go oh my goodness it's smaller it's so cute it's so cute okay so here we go here is our little little instant pot oh my goodness okay so let me just run down the features here now remember, there are two mini models. There is a Duo and a Lux. This happens to be the Duo. And the difference, uh, the huge difference I think between the two are the, um, the Lux doesn't have a yogurt function. And I think there is some um, um, pressure. Um, it only has one, it doesn't have a low pressure. I think, I believe it only has the high pressure. I don't have a Lux, I just have Duos. So. Um, but I, if memory serves, that is the difference. Okay, so let me go through what this one has in terms of the built-in programs. So if you have no idea 
what an instant, if this is the first time you're being introduced to an Instant Pot, Instant Pot has um, some pre um, settings here. And so what you do is you just dump in your rice and then you push, you know, rice. It's just that easy, right? So um, the different models have different settings. So let me go through those so that you will know exactly which settings this one has. Okay, so this one has a keep warm setting. It has saute setting. It has the, um, the pressure cook or what we call the manual where you just do manual uh, time. Then it has the rice cooker. Um, it does have yogurt because this is a duo. So it has yogurt. It has a bean and chili. Uh, function it does not have a poultry uh, setting because <laughs> it's small <laughs> you would you would do um, I mean I, you can go ahead and cut up your chicken but I think they're you know whole chicken thinking about a whole chicken um, meat and stew yes it does not have a multi-grain it does have the porridge setting it has a soup setting it does not have a cake setting it does not have the sterilized setting it does have a steam setting it does not have the egg setting um, and then of course it doesn't have the ultra setting which is only available on the instant pot ultra okay so that doesn't mean that you can't cook eggs in here it just means there's not an automatic setting for it so you would just have to do the manual um, setting and you'd have to know what it you know what how many minutes that you want to cook eggs on so that's just kind of the difference there and again like with the chicken you could do chicken in here as long as it you wouldn't want to put a whole chicken obviously this is too small for that but you could do cuts of chicken in here so let me go ahead and take off the lid so you can see inside okay so this is how it comes it's got the tag here it's got the ring already in there your ceiling ring um and then the inner pot it's so cute okay and it has a warning here because this is the part that gets hot so you got a warning here and warning here too and then it's just wrapped in plastic with the uh, steaming rack so let me show you that here is the inner pot and this is stainless steel it's just so cute can't get over how cute it is okay here is steaming rack this one does not have handles the the ones on the bigger models do but this one does not have handles. So when you take things out of here, you're gonna to have to use some gloves or things like that, especially if you were taking eggs out, you would want to have uh, your gloves on that way. Okay, so we've got the detachable cord. I'm not gonna show you how that works because I think you can figure that out. And then spoons, right? So the measuring cup is um, not in standard units it's it's a different unit so uh, beware that when you are looking at recipes okay so this is a condensation catcher and it just kind of goes on here and it just um, it just collects the condensation that happens when you um, you are cooking pressure cooking and it just slides in there right there it's Pretty tight there so but that's how that works and then you would empty that and clean it that way you're not having uh, water condensation drip everywhere um, one other thing I want to show you before we go on to the other one is the way that the lid fits if you are completely new to instant pot you may not know this but um, when you take the lid off it's gonna have yeah, condensation, maybe some gunk, depending on what you are cooking, right? So maybe some food up here. So instead of laying it on a table or a counter, you can put it here and there's a holder there. Just be very careful if you have children running around because we have knocked those off a couple of times. But if you, um, you have quiet in your kitchen and there's no <laughs> rambunctiousness in your kitchen, you should be fine. So that is the Instant Pot Duo Mini. Totally, completely adorable and I can't wait to use it. So now we're going, we're going to move on. I'm gonna look at comments here and um, please let me know if you have questions. I know Darby, it's so little, it's so cute. 
Uh, Brenda's saying the mini is perfect for the food that I put up in pint and half jars. Uh, okay, just um, just be aware that it's not a pressure canner. It's not a pressure canner. Um, on the website, it does say that you can water bath can in an instant pot. I do not recommend that though. It's not what it's made for. Um, and in addition to that, it's so teeny tiny when you put something, put stuff up. Uh, even the even the eight quart is teeny tiny uh, for preserving. So I I do not recommend um, preserving as in canning canning in the instant pot whatsoever. Um, also, when you're canning, even water bath canning, you need to maintain a boil. Um, you can do that, like I said, with the Instant Pot. They say that you can do it on the website, so there is that. But uh, you, don't, you just don't know. There may be some sudden drops in your temperature. Um, you just you don't have the control of the temperature that you do on the stove. And if it goes below a boil for whatever reason, it could, you know, there could be a sudden drop in temperature in your house. Something could go into the water if you put cooler water to cover it. Whatever the case may be, the temperature of the, um, the water in the pot could drop and it could go below boiling, then you'd have to start over because then it wouldn't be safe. So I do not recommend canning at all in an instant pot. Just wanna make that clear there. Okay. Um, so I'm getting great comments here. Okay, so and Marie is asking, what would you do with a mini? Well, I am going to take it with me when I travel, and I plan to do um, some eggs in there. I plan to get some small, small cuts of meat and. Um, I don't know. I, you know what? I need to see if there is a um, slow cooking top that goes with the mini. I did not look at that. Um, you could certainly absolutely get one of those multi-size um, tops to go on top for slow cooking. Um, but anyway, I want to uh, slow cook and or pressure cook, depending on my time, uh, some small cuts of meat just for uh, two because we're we'll be traveling just with two um, You could make a small amount of chili soup You could just do almost everything that you can do in the bigger pots just on a smaller scale so um, That is what I would do with the mini and this is great if there is just two people right and you don't have a large family This would be the perfect perfect size if you like to cook in um, batch, then you might consider a larger size because then you could make extra, put some in the freezer or whatever, and um, then you would have extra. But if you're just, you know, maybe you have some some fussy uh, people in your family and they just want it cooked freshly that very day, then this would be something that would be a, a great option. Also, if you have a little, if you have, so I have five in my family, so I think of that as like the, the smallest big family that you can have, right? So we oftentimes will will cook with two six quarts, and really it would be awesome if I had just one six quart and then something like this, a smaller one, um, just depending on what I'm cooking. Same thing goes with the eight quart. There are times when I'm cooking with the eight quart, usually I'm cooking in batch with that, but then there's just something else. Maybe I am cooking in batch and I'm gonna have some of, usually I cook meat in there. Um, so I'm gonna have some of that meat for dinner, but I'm gonna put the rest up. And then I would like another one to make the side dish. So this is just perfect for that. So that is the mini and um, I'm gonna go on to the smart now. Let me kind of pack this up so I can have some room here. And then we will look at that one. And so my dear husband is going to take this one from me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And the top. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to the Smart. So the Smart is the one with the Bluetooth 
function. I'm scared about that top there. Um, the This is a six quart. It doesn't come with the eight quart. So this is, um, this is the biggest, well, not the biggest, this is the only, this is the only one that you can get with the Smart, which is the, the Bluetooth um, app that goes on your tablet or your phone. So let me make sure I am telling you everything that I can about this. Um, just really quick, I did say there was 10 safety features for the Mini. There is with this one too, but I did want to tell you the wattage. There's 700 watts in the mini. So now we're going to go on to the smart and talk about that. I have my notes here, so don't forget anything. Okay, so basically it's the same thing in terms of the multi-purpose, right? So it replaces all of those things that I just mentioned, the rice cooker, the slow cooker, uh, the saute plate, all of those things. So the thing is with this one, there is, like I mentioned before, that app. And so I have not used it, um, I have researched it, not used it, so I can just speak to what, um, what I know about the Bluetooth app. And what that is, is you go in and you kind of, they call them scripts, you create a script that it runs through. So I was talking about eggs just a minute ago. So what you would do is you would go in and you would tell it the amount of time that you want for the eggs, and then you would um, go ahead and tell it low pressure, high pressure, whatever the case would be, and then you would um, set it to go. And that would be a script and you can save them. You can also download other people's scripts. So there are recipes already there. So that makes it very intriguing and interesting. So let's go ahead and find out uh, what this one looks like, if it's different, whatever the case may be. Like I said, it is, I have not, um, have not gotten into this one. Okay. Don't forget it also has just the notification. You just want to know when your pot beeps. Your yes, pot yes. Beeps. It has just the notification on it. Bill's over here telling me, don't forget, don't forget that it has just the notification as to when things are done and how they're cooking. So, um, so you'll be able to see that on your tablet or phone. Now, having said that, that does not mean that I um, recommend that you leave it by itself. Um, if you have a pressure cooker in your house, you should not leave it unattended. Now, you can go do other things in your kitchen, uh, but I do not recommend ever leaving a um, pressure cooker unattended. Um, so if you have a pressure cooker that's on the stove, you'll appreciate that the difference. Uh, when you have a pressure cooker on your stove, you really need to sit there and watch it, especially if it's a new one and you're not quite sure about uh, the temperature that it needs to be at to be at a certain pressure. So you really have to babysit it very, very closely. So this one, you would not, right? Because you've got the information on your tablet. You don't even have to, um, you know, you don't have to fiddle with the, the screen. You can look at your tablet or your phone, um, but still, like I said, I would never recommend uh, not being there when your pressure cooker is on ever, ever, ever. Okay, I'm gonna take this out of the box. If you are just uh, joining me, this is, we're unboxing two uh, Instant Pots today. We just unboxed the, um, Instant Pot Duo Mini, and this is the Instant Pot Smart. So this is the one with the Bluetooth function. And I am gonna get it out of this box. Okay, so we get the box and box again. I think, yes, we did. Okay, so let me pull this out. So this will take a little more strength. Watch my microphone. Okay. Okay, so here we go. You could already tell from the box. Yeah, I'm turning it around so I can see. So you can already tell from the box, it's different. You can see the different um, display. Okay, so we're just gonna take it out. And pretty much the same setup here. We just have the box and then we have the, dis the instructions, the paperwork. So let me open those so you can see those. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so I have a user, user's manual and I have the recipes. So this is pretty standard with all the Instant Pots. So you have both books. These are also available online. I find that super helpful that especially you can be using it with your tablet or your phone. So I find that super helpful if you download the PDF versions, you have them right there. It also helps with uh, meal planning and, and that because you'll know how much time things take. So I love, love having the PDF. Um, and then here we have some um, guides so you can see. And you have the information about the app here. Okay, so let's take it out and see what it looks like. We have styrofoam, and of course we have a detachable cord. Like I said, yay for that. Um, they're all coming, like I said before with the mini, they're all coming with a detachable cord now, which makes it really nice for storage. Okay, and then here is the Instant Pot, and we have another box. And my sweet husband is collecting boxes over there. Okay, so we just have plastic wrap. So let's look at that display, which is going to be different. Yes, so you can tell it is different than the other Instant Pots. Okay. All right, so before I open the top, let me go down the list of things that it can do and can't do again, because there are 17 things um, that the, the the top of the line, which is the, the Ultra, can do. So they, it does 17 things. So um, of those 17 things, I'll just go down the line, and what I'm talking about is the presets on here. Just because it doesn't mention it on the preset doesn't mean you can't cook it in there. It just means you'll have to manually program it to do that. Okay, so on this one, and I'm making sure I'm on the right one. Okay, so it has a keep warm setting. Slow cook it or saute, it does have that. It has the manual um, pressure cooking or uh, it, pressure cook slash manual. Um, it has rice setting, a yogurt setting, a bean and chili setting, a poultry setting, uh, meat and stew, multi-grain, it does not. Um, the porridge, it has a porridge setting, a soup and broth, yes. Cake setting, no. Sterilizing, no. Steam, yes. No egg setting on this. Um, and then it does not have just a warm setting. It will keep things warm after the cycle goes, but it's not. there's not a pre-programmed button that you can just push and it does, does not have the ultra setting. So let's go ahead and take off the top, which is pretty standard. It was just exactly the same as the other one has the tag. And let's see what's inside here. Okay, so we have our steaming rack, and this one has handles, so it's a little different. It has handles, I'll show you how that goes in there in just a second. Um, these come with um, pads. So that you can take your, these are silicone, and you can take your pot out when it's steaming and you don't get burned. So those are super cool. Okay. Then there's utensils. These are the standard um, that came, that comes with all of them. Okay, so plastic utensils and a measuring cup just like before and then we have the condensation collector here okay so let me take out the inner pot warnings here inner pot this is stainless steel inner pot there's more warnings down there because that's the part that gets, the heating element is in here. That's the part that gets, it all gets hot. I was gonna say that's the part that gets hot, but all of it gets hot, but this is the, the heating element. Okay, and here is the inner pot. Then the steaming rack will go in just like that. 
so let me hold that so you can see it you can see it in there so the beauty of having the handles is that if you've got something on there you can just easily take it out or easily put it in okay so it goes just in here like that um, and then I already showed you how to put the condensation rack on so so I won't do that um, let's see what else do I have to tell you about this one um, okay so this is a thousand watts and it will pressure cook up to two hours so the ones that are not the smart actually pressure cook for a longer time so that's an interesting thing that um, that I found the different in the differences okay so that is pretty much it um, I am super excited about downloading the app for this and giving it a try and uh, letting you guys know what I think about it so what I want to do is I don't want to just leave you with these two because we've got some other unboxing uh, videos for the instant pot so if you're searching for an instant pot and you want to know you know the one that's going to fit with you the one that is going to be best for your family um, you can go to and bill is putting the um, the link up there right now so it is let me see if i've got it here in yes it's selfrelianceschool.com slash instant pot unboxing so you can go there and you can see all of the different uh, models unboxed. We've got one for the Ultra, one for the eight quart duo, um, and we have we also have a Kuhn or Khan if you are interested in pressure cooking, but you're not so interested in an instant pot, you wanna go old school and uh, use the stove, that is an option for you, and I'll have that video on that page as well, so you can just do a lot of comparison shopping there. Um, okay, so the other thing I wanted to share with you is that we have a quick start guide and I will have all of these links in the show notes. So don't worry if you're just listening, um, in your earbuds or just, uh, you know, doing something in the kitchen or whatever, and you're just listening right now, uh, no worries. All of those links will be, uh, on the show notes page, but I do have another link to share with you and that is to our pressure cooking quick start guide. So you can go to selfrelianceschool.com slash PC and you will get um, a download there and you can download it and it's, it goes over all of the different things that you're hearing. Like if you don't have an instant pot or maybe you just have gotten one or maybe you have one in a box and you haven't even gotten it out, um, it goes over all the terms, you know, what it means to quick release and um, natural release and what it means to low pressure, high pressure, all of those things are explained for you there. And then, um, you know, you won't be, you won't be in the dark or afraid to use your instant pot. You can get it right out and we just explain everything there and you will be um, off and running in no time. So do take advantage of that. It is my gift to you and you can get it again at selfrelianceschool.com slash PC. Okay, so I want you to know that being self-reliant is not about uh, being selfish, not just about you, it's about taking care of yourself so you can take care of the ones that you love. Take care until we talk again. I'm so glad you could join me today. Here's what to do next. Head over to selfrelianceschool.tv to pick up the show notes for this episode and to watch replays of older episodes. To go directly to the show notes for this episode, go to selfrelianceschool.tv and then without a space, type a slash and then the number of today's episode. You can watch this show live every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, live on Facebook or the Periscope app. Don't forget to stop by selfrelianceschool.com slash free to get your free self-reliant school videos that will help you get started living a self-reliant life. Also, if you're listening to this show as a podcast and you've liked what you've heard today, please subscribe through Stitcher, iTunes, or your favorite podcast app. If you're on a mobile device, just search for the Self-Reliant Living Show. 
If you're on a laptop or desktop, just go to selfreliantlife.tv slash iTunes. And while you're there, please leave a review. I love to hear from you. You leaving feedback makes it easier for others that are interested in living a self-reliant life to find my podcast. Take care until we talk again.